Moscow, dramatic capital of the Soviet Union, hosts the 1987 European Gymnastics Championships, a fitting venue in a land that's dominated world gymnastics for more than 30 years. The first of their great stars, Larissa Latinina, her remarkable achievements are still unsurpassed. She won 15 gold medals at the World Championships and nine Olympic golds. Nelly Kim, another of the all-time greats of Soviet gymnastics, she was one of the first to score a perfect 10 in an Olympics. Perhaps the best known, Olga Korbut, the 1972 Olympics made her a star. Millions of girls around the world sought to emulate her magic. Today we'll see the new generation of Soviet gymnasts. Remember Montreal in 1985, where the USSR produced the first ever joint world champions. Oksana Emelianchik on the right, surprisingly out of the Soviet squad in Moscow, leaving Elena Shushanova to lead their team into these European championships. Hard on their heels will be the Romanians with Camelia Voinia, her acrobatic virtuosity quite outstanding. And Daniela Silivas, just four foot five inches tall, who took the world individual beam title in Montreal with a perfect ten. Good evening, and the... Well, she scored 9.85 on vault. Now on A-bars, the young Soviet hope, 14-year-old Svetlana Baitova. Oh, and what a start. Everybody building up to see a brilliant performance and falling off on the first difficulty. Giant, Delchev, nice flying forward circle, lovely combination there, very unusual. All four pieces of apparatus going on at once, that's why you hear the music from the floor in the background. Double back somersault with full twist to finish, but a costly fall in the first three movements. And you can see from her expression how she feels. A lost soul. And she'll lose 0.5 of the mark for it. Yes, 0.5 for the fall. But that's the Delche very well caught. And the forward circle flying without the hands onto the thighs. A very unusual combination. The stalled at a handstand, complicated hand changes. The Soviets were looking for a medal with this girl and maybe now they're going to be disappointed. Well, they've definitely put her competition temperament to the test and I don't think they'll be too impressed. Very high dismount, way above the top bar. Certainly a beautiful gymnast. And bite of a score, 9.325. Still a lot of the competition in front of her, but she's now got a lot to do. Martina Jensch, from East Germany, from the great school of gymnasts that produced Max Siegenau, Dagmar and Fanrik. Full twisting double back opener. An Arabian double somersault. Not many girls in the world perform that. Viewers at home will notice a striking likeness to Amanda Harrison, British international gymnast, very much like Martina. Double back dismount. And a very expressive routine there. Martina Jens from East Germany. Here in replay, Martina Jensch. The speed from the flick flack, the half twist, completing the full and then the second somersault, full twisting double back.
And Jentsch scores 9.75 on floor. That's the highest mark on floor so far. Onto the floor now, Camelia Voynia from Romania. At the moment in second place. Very good opener, double back straight, and she really went for it. Very good, double back, tough punch front. Just look at the body control. She's executing fantastic interpretation to the music. Nice to see she's enjoying it. tumble and still lots of energy very fit these gymnasts full twisting double back what an unusual floor routine brilliant execution of dance and very high powerful tumbles from Camelia Voynia from Romania just look at the grit in the run the determination in that first tumble run needing lots of speed that's the flick flack the speed builder and two somersaults in almost a straight position, just bending the legs at the end. And if only she hadn't messed up on her beam exercise, she would be right in contention. And there's the score, 9.95 for Voynia on floor. So she stays in contention at the moment. The big gun's still to come, though. Now the leaders are to the first group. Martina Jentsch of East Germany leads by 0.2 of a mark from Camelia Voynia. And in third place, the 14-year-old Soviet girl, Baitova. Anna Priyakina from Russia, the Soviet gymnast that we're pinning our hopes on. Third in the USSR Championships. A brilliant talent. Kachev. Just swinging over the bars without any problems at all. Giant. And full twisting double back. Went through it as though she'd been through it hundreds of times. Very cool. Just 14 years old in her first European championship. Amazing talent. <laughs> Giant building up speed for the dismount and there she goes right above the top of the bar full twisting double back and there's the score for Ala Briakina on A bars 9.9 .9, the highest score on A bars so far 9.675 she scored with her first vault here with her second from Bulgaria, 18-year-old Diana Dudova. Oh, and what a landing. That was a perler of a vault. Sukahara full twist in a puffed position, slightly bent at the knees, but it's meant to be like that. Tremendous pace into the board as usual, a bit low down the board. Nice and long and high, and just look at the landing. Not a murmur. There's a score, 9.75 for Dudova on vault. Now, 8.25, her first vault. Here's the second from Ala Priyakina. Full twist on, full twist off. Talk about aerial awareness. Clemenko there, Michael Clemenko, coach. 
very pleased with her. Bria Keen is so self-assured. And she's left Shushanova and Silivash with an awful lot to do now. Full twist on, full twist off, a little bit untidy, but very, very difficult. Autograph hunters around already. And she may have provided one of the biggest upsets in the history of this competition. And there's a score, 9.90, to round off a fantastic sequence. And Shushanova and Silivas will really have their work cut out now if they're to become European champions. And so going into the final group of Shushanova and Silivas, Ala Prakina has a healthy lead over Dudova from Bulgaria and Golea from Romania. Here's our first look at the big hope from Romania. 17 years old, the World Cup silver medalist, Daniela Silivash. What an unusual mount. Very confident start. Silavash, world champion on beam. Two straight backs, and how well she knows where the beam is. Finished inches from the end. Arab Spring flick. Double back. What a brilliant routine, even down to the landing. And she's immediately followed on floor by Elena Shushanova, the reigning champion. Popular with the crowd. Let's see how popular she was with the judges. Elena Shushanova. Well, Silivash scored 9.95 on beam. So what a start for her. And how will the judges react to Shushanova? But already the competition building up to a very exciting climax indeed. There's her Tong Fai. One and three quarter Arabian bouncing along the floor a little bit and coming up into a flick flack. Tremendous flight. And there's Shushanova's score 9.90 on floor. On to the floor now, Daniela Silivas. Brilliant. This one of her better exercises as well. Got the bronze medal in these European Championships on floor in Helsinki two years ago. Silivash 
sort of ash has lengthened and become oh so very graceful. And my book looking better than Shushanova. And another punch front. Unbelievable bounce. tumble pull in back out tight just where do the judges take marks away from that that was so brilliant the tumbling the personality the extension and everything the charisma was just superb here's one of her tumbling combinations whip back the first flick flack a second flick flack and full in and back somersault out and just look at the height and Silvash's mark on floor a perfect 10 the first 10 of these championships and she now leads Shushanova by 0.15 of a mark Lisa Elliott moment then here's her first ball Daniela Silvash Yurchenko with full twist Beautiful symmetry to the vault, but she did let her legs come apart during the flight phase. Very nice lift indeed. But not as good as Shishinova's. Shishinova now moves to A-bars. The difficulty starting to be piled in already. Ginger, flight over the bottom bar. Christian ever remember, joint world champion, world cup winner, as well as European champion. Oh, the stumble there. Could that cost her the gold? That could cost her the gold. Point three, point five. Who knows? Maximum she could lose is point five for full weight on hands. Silly bat. 9.875 a first vault, that was a second. Very little to choose between the two vaults. Nice flight, much the same as the first. Not quite so much control on landing. And there are the scores, the overall score, 9.9. Sidibas .9. looks rock firm, and the face of Shushanova tells it all. And the Giant. mark is coming up, there it is, 9.5. And I think Shushanova knows that it's very nearly all over. All eyes on this girl who needs 9.65 to beat Briakina and to win the European title. Stalled at a handstand, full pirouette, Delchev. Tremendous opening. Another Stalder. Beautiful technique, nice tight legs and straight arms. Everything the judges are looking for. Katchev, good distance from the bar. Clear handstand. Shoot front. Well, what a beautiful performance. And Shushinova looks on and can only look on at the new European champion. Brilliant. Katchev in style, not just scraping over the bar, but flying over the bar, handstand again in beautiful tension. All the marks of a champion. Technique perfect, and the ability to really carry out the perfect routine when it matters. And not a semblance of nerves. There's the score that confirms it. Daniela Silibash from Romania is the new European champion.
Yes, she certainly is. And just to confirm the final placings there, Daniela Shilivash uh, in first position, then winning the championship. Second, Ala Priakina of the Soviet Union. And tying for third place, Elena Shushanova, also of the Soviet Union. And Diana Dudova of Bulgaria, tying there for third place. As for our British girls, Lisa... Elena Shushanova, joint bronze medalist on vault. Excellent vault, full twisting Yurchenko. The Arab Springer cartwheel with a quarter turn, backwards coming into the horse blind, lifting off superbly. A nice tight full twist and an excellent landing. Shushanova who won the gold medal on vault in the 85 championships three individual gold medals she had then and one bronze as well as the gold overall but disappointing in the overall championships a couple of days ago and the score coming up for vault and there it is a maximum in 10 fantastic but not a blinker of recognition on this girl's face. She goes for the second. Remember, it's the average of the two marks that counts. And this could be an even more difficult fault. Let's see how she plays her cards. Arab Spring. Yes, it is. It's a double-twisting Yurchenko. Much more difficult than the first. And that's the mark for Jonasson, 9.525. Technique might not be so perfect because she's really going for the ultimate difficulty. First performed by Arta Okopian in the World Championships in 1981. Brilliant vault, but a step back. But she's already got a 10. And there's the score for Shushanova's second vault, 9.913. And here is the overall gold medalist from Romania, 17 years old, earlier this month, Daniela Silivas. Yurchenko, full twist in a puck position. Daniela, very short, finding vault her most difficult discipline because of her light body weight. Very good effort, but split legs. Certainly not her best piece of apparatus, but a good vault. And there's a score, 9.875. Yurchenko, full twist with straight legs this time, and that was her second vault, and in my opinion, the best. A closer look. She needs lots of speed because she's so tiny. Loses her legs off the top, but then re-extends them before landing. She makes a very good job of that vault. But now, result. Elena Shushanova, the winner with the gold. Silivash gets a silver to add to her gold earlier, and Galea of Romania coming third and winning the bronze medal. Well, Haley. Shushanova, just making the final preparations to the asymmetric bars. But first on will be the 14 year old Ara Priakina. Overall silver medalist. Qualified in second place with 9.90. And the mount, the only person in the world to perform full twisting flick flack to backward circle. And already we've seen a full twisting giant. And Akatchev, and now we're coming into the big dismount, which is a double back with a full twist. Like Lukin, she's been a revelation this week. Unheard of 12 months ago, but has come through to be the newest star in the firmament. And Priyakina opens up strongly, 9.863.
And here's Boriana Stoyanova of Bulgaria. Next to go on asymmetric bars. Qualified sixth with 9.80. Stoyanova, been on the international scene since 1981. Full twisting giant. Eagle to catch back straddle. Clear circled handstand. Giant. So many of these moves coming from the men's high bar work. Shoot front and Barani dismount. Very clean routine. Not amazing difficulty but everything performed with technical accuracy. Clear circle to handstand, and then the giant, the straight of the arms and the straight of the body, the more appealing this exercise is to the judges. Feet together, body tight. Shoot front somersault and the half twist. Looks really untidier than it is in slow motion. And next to go. 9.813, the score for Stoyanova. And she's followed. Here's Astrid Hisser from East Germany. 18 years old, qualified fifth with 9.85. Nice forward giant into Jaeger. Ginger. Legs were meant to be bent. Tremendous record, these Germans on asymmetric bars. We've had gold medalists, Maxi Ganauk, Karen Jans back as far as 1979. And double back away, dismount. The standard on asymmetric bars has been phenomenal, hasn't it, so far? Absolutely. Amazing. I'm going to be very disappointed when I go back to my gym. <laughs> but if your kids in your gym are watching, they'll be inspired, surely, by this. And there's a nice high ginger. Immediate drop to catch the bottom bar. 